When you're filming them, uh, what what kind of crew are you working with? Is it just you, or is you know? Tell me about a little bit about the apparatus and the process for you. Um, it's a very small apparatus. <laughs> uh, it's often just me. Um, I, you do everything. I noticed. You edit. You shoot. You direct. You write. I had, an, I had an amazing group of editors working with me, but for this one, I, I shot. Yeah, I mean, um, for me. It, I, I can't imagine doing it any other way. I mean, this this film was so confined in these safe houses, these very smoky safe houses. Um, and as someone who doesn't smoke, they were quite smoky. Um, and that was actually one of the biggest challenges, is just trying to find the cinema, trying to find the drama in what honestly amounted to just guys behind cell phones and computers and, and smoky rooms, and trying to find the humanity in that. Um, but there's no way I could have gotten that sort of intimacy if I had, you know, lights and a sound man with a boom and, and stuff. And so, uh, you know, I had a sort of local fixer, local producer with me. Um, but when I was actually filming, it was just, just me. And what were your challenges in the editing room as far as, as getting the story into the final shape that you found? Um, I think the the biggest challenge was was juxta you know this juxtaposition between my own footage and, and this amazing sort right. of gritty on the ground rough cell phone handy cam spy cam footage that the group had captured and, and ISIS's footage as well. Um, I think you know my goal with every scene is to make you all feel like you're there, make you all feel like you're in that room. Um, with the guys, make you feel like you are walking the streets of Raqqa, make you feel like you're walking out into the town square and you see the beheaded um, heads on, on the fence. You know, I think I want you to feel as if you are there. And so that was the biggest challenge editorially is this, these two totally different types of footage, but with the goal, again, of making you feel like you're there and, and also obviously seamlessly um, cutting them together. So that was the biggest challenge. 